Hello everyone and welcome back to another Farfly Studios video. We're here with another Q&A. Today we are mixing up the format. Uh, I am now here instead of just Nick to ask him the questions you've left on our previous installments. So we've got 40 questions from our previous Q&A installments. So part one, two, three and four, which will be linked somewhere I assume. So go watch them if you haven't. Check it out. But Nick, are you ready to answer 40 questions on Stronghold Next? I'm ready. And let's go on with it. Let's do it. So beginning with question one, and just a side note before we begin, uh, we have simplified the questions. Uh, the full questions will appear on screen, uh, but we've just simplified them into one sentence questions so that we can quickly rattle them off. And we can just actually fit them on the screen rather than just being like a wall of text in front of my face. <laughs> um, so we're beginning with Andertesh Ordo with, will Stronghold Next have more troops than the last few games? So 26 units in total, including both troops and siege equipment, because we kind of count siege equipment as troops. Um, obviously new setting, right? So there's going to be a lot of new stuff in there. It will offer new ways to take down castles, new ways to breach walls, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of stuff that's coming back from previous games, that's all stuff that's considered like classic stronghold units. Yeah. So if we're bringing something across the new setting or sort of forward to the new game, um, it's considered like a classic strong unit that lots and lots of people have told us they want in the game. Yeah. So aside from that, it'll be all new, but yeah, 26 in total um, across both siege weapons and troops. And I won't say what the kind of split is there, but you can kind of probably just figure it out. There are going to be fewer siege weapons than troops because you need more troops than an yeah, army. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. So next up we have Genesis SOC with a Stronghold 2 related question. Can you add keyboard controls to move the camera like in Stronghold 2? Um, we are looking at that exact thing. I was literally discussing it with someone else in the office a few days ago. Mm -hmm. um, we're definitely looking at it as a sort of like wish list kind of thing. Like we have got it in the game now, but ideally we would just have, you know, um, remappable keys so that the game's really accessible for people without a full range of motion. Yeah. And, you know, you could just customize the controls however you want. Of course, you're going to be able to have that functionality in the game. So you're going to be able to zoom and uh, rotate the camera, that kind of stuff. But in terms of specific control schemes, yeah, we're definitely looking at uh, on our wish list either for launch or one of those sort of like post-launch sort of smaller updates that we could do. But yeah, it's on the it's on the list. Next up is Hubba Bubba 701. Is the new mechanic first person control of your lord? Ah, oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? It would be great. I mean, we had third person as an Easter egg in Strong Legends, and we are pushing for Easter eggs, so I'll suggest it is all I can say. But yeah, imagine Stronghold was an FPS. It'd be like Command and Conquer Renegade. <laughs> I do love that game. Yeah. Um, I was thinking more like sequel to Chivalry, but you know, in a different setting. But yeah, it's probably a good thing I'm not creative. No <laughs> FPS mode. Sorry. No FPS mode. Not right now. I'll, I'll suggest it, but not right now. Uh, next up we have Hey Dicey. Is it possible for us common folks to have a job in your castle? Yes. I too was a common folk before I joined Firefly. As was I. Fireflyworlds.com forward slash careers. Follow us on Twitter. We usually tweet about new job openings with gifts, funny gifts. Mm -hmm. So yeah, follow us on social media. And you too. Just don't expect like Simon to knight you or anything like that. We don't know. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we have a sword somewhere, but... Yeah, but it's not like a knight-worthy sword. Yeah. You couldn't knight someone with it. True. You could maybe rob someone with it. That's about it. True. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned next week. <laughs> next up, if we add our Polish community manager here, I could perhaps pronounce his name, but I can't, so I'm just going to try and pronounce your last name, sir. Um, Rysik? That's probably... Yeah, it's decent. Rysik. Um, he says not knowing any Polish. <laughs> yeah. Will Stronghold Next have any hidden messages? So I assume Easter eggs and such. We would love to do Easter eggs. Um, you know, the kind of like Monty Python stuff we've had in previous titles. Check out Top 7 Stronghold Easter eggs if you oh, haven't yeah, yeah. on our channel. All good, good stuff. Um, good we will do our best to try and slide some in. Um, yeah, I think that um, we'd all love to do that, wouldn't we? Yeah, absolutely. Or maybe even tease the you know future games in the series. Actually, that's, that's quite a good idea. Marketing. Marketing. <laughs> so yeah, we, it's definitely on the wish list. Uh, next up we have Cadillac Deville Conquers. I always feel a little bit of envy when I hear all these usernames that are way cooler than mine. But yeah, yes. No. Mine's just AR Hayden. Yeah. Don't look that up. <laughs> You'll only be disappointed. Um, with will non-siege units be able to attack walls? Ah, okay. So um, throughout the Stronghold series, it's been sort of um, varied in terms of the rules related to this. Like the original two games, 
regular units could do it. Mm -hmm. Three in Crusader 2, you could do it. Stronghold 2, I think regular units could take down wooden walls, but not yeah, they couldn't take down stone, stone walls. Basically, the answer is, is up to you. We're going to allow um, strong walls as an option to turn it on and off. Or if you prefer them to be able to take down walls, but then just to be a bit sort of hardier, yeah. you can turn on double health. Um, yeah, but it's totally up to you. We're just going to leave that as an option in the game, just because we know there are people who like yeah. A and people who like B. So yeah. kind of just Power. leave it as an option for everyone. Power to the player. That's the whole point about PC gaming. It's yeah. your game. You decide. Exactly. Next up we have Trey Last with what is the max number of players on a single map? Uh, so we'll be matching Crusader 2, so it'll be eight players mix of human AI max. Um, as we said in the previous video, we're looking to increase that in future titles, but for this one, mm -hmm. we're going to be matching Crusader 2 um, and kind of designing everything around that. And next up we have Karma with would you guys consider doing a Game of Thrones stronghold? We would consider doing a Game of Thrones stronghold. Getting the license is another issue. Yeah. Start the petition right now. Mm -hmm. um, we'll sign it. We'll be your first sign signatories? Signatories? Sign sign signatories. I think it's signatories. Anyway, whatever. I'll trust you on that. Start the petition now. You know, we're, we're well up for that. If only just to prove that I don't really look like Ramsey Bolton, because that's been a thing on my YouTube channel. Depends on the gift. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Should I just days, hold a sausage? <laughs> I mean, some days you come into the office and I'm like, <gasps> It's Ramsey. <laughs> He's here. I get nervous. <laughs> Where are his dogs? <laughs> so, yes. If, if we could do it, we would yeah. do it. And moving on, we have Aethermed? Aethermed? Aethermed. Let's go with Aethermed. Um, will there be a unit capable of healing my army? Uh, no healing units planned for Stronghold next. Um, in Crusader 2, we had like two passive and two active unit abilities. So like yeah. Assassin Knight, Dervish, active obviously, um, Slave Driver and uh, Sergeant Arms passive abilities. Um, we really liked those because it felt like it was actually useful. You didn't have to trigger it yourself, yeah. you know, in, uh, with the exception of the active abilities, which kind of serve a specific purpose in a specific situation. Yeah. Um, and they just felt more sort of historically accurate for the time. Like you wouldn't be able to just heal a guy yeah, <laughs> in, yeah, yeah. in the desert. Um, yeah, so going forward, we kind of, we want to build on the aura bubble abilities a bit more. Next up we have gaming with AR, which I hope means Aaron Ross, because that's my second name. Uh, will there be new lords in Stronghold next? Yes, there will be new lords. Um, it's going to be a little bit more like Crusader and Legends in the sense that you've got characters who are sort of directly taken from or inspired by history mm -hmm. rather than sort of you know our own creations we're still going to put in that kind of strong humor yeah. into the script and the sort of <laughs> characterization of them um but it's going to be more sort of crusader legendsy in terms of you know taking people from history and inserting right. them into our sort of historically authentic single player campaign so it should give the game a more sort of grounded historical feel in yeah. terms of the single player in terms of like some of the units and sort of stuff like that um, but yeah, it will be more sort of historically drawn in yeah. sort of Crusader legend. So yeah, it definitely sounds like this installment is being a lot more historically yeah. uh, respectful. Yeah. Um, although we have done that in the past. This Authentic but not accurate is the way to describe it. Next up is Hilti with uh, something I am almost hesitant to state <coughs> because I feel it's just an ego boost to the man sitting opposite me here. I need those. Um, I desperately need those. I effing love you guys, especially you, Nick. Especially Winky Face. <laughs> Love you too, Hilti. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, same the guy. Keep doing, posting. Guy doing all the community content all by himself over here. Yeah, just, <laughs> no, I gonna get a love you. I don't know. Love you too. Keep it up. Next up is Goldberg PL. Is it weird that my favorite thing from Crusader is killing the annoying rabbit? <laughs> Jesus, rabbits are adorable, and you should definitely seek help. And also delicious. Yeah. Next up, we have Snow Sprinter. Will future titles allow you to build a small camp or second castle? This sounds to me like the estates system. It does. So the estate system was kind of brought into Stronghold to give people like a tease, because obviously like loads of other RTSs use second bases, mm -hmm. like you definitely use it in campaigns and skirmish matches. I don't know yep. whether you use it sort of at like pro level for Starcraft yeah. or whatever, but it's 100% a thing. True. So the estates were kind of brought into um, as our kind of like feudal substitute. So yeah. it's a way of doing it that feels historically accurate yeah. because like That's the important. estates are essentially like pay you tribute yeah, as yeah, like yeah. vassals or whatever. Um, but it also meant that they're automated. So you don't need to 
Because like managing a castle economy and stronghold is quite like a full time yeah. job. Especially so doing multiple castles would be quite yeah exactly hard. Especially if we're as we said we're going more economic as well. Yeah. So you want to find that careful balance. Yeah. I mean we do love the estate system and um, you know we'd love to see it evolve in future titles. So stay tuned on that front. Um, but yeah, that was basically the reason why we haven't done like a, a like a second base system proper in a game just because. Um, like managing a castle, yeah, even in Stronghold where you've got like, like your previous video was saying, like a few systems regardless of how it was in real life with yeah. like hundreds of different sort of interesting Exactly, problems. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's a so station on that front, but we're definitely looking at the estate system as like something that's really core cool to Stronghold and hoping to see that kind of evolve in future titles. Next up we have Dan Core. It'd be amazing if there was a 0.00001% chance of peasants doing a Fortnite dance. I think it should be higher than that. I think it should be a hundred percent chance. <laughs> just, whatever they spawn, they just the come out flossing. <laughs> um, that actually, that would be. A, we yeah. will definitely add it to the wish list. Um, Again. we're obviously doing new animations for the game, so we'll see if yeah. we can fit it in. But we are a very small team, so no promises. But I would have to do that, yeah. so we'll see. I mean, so we're we're kind of far off hiring an animator just exclusively to do <laughs> Fortnite dance. Well, I know what I'm going to suggest when I go back <laughs> yeah. upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> Next up we have Andy Barry. My wife will only allow me to buy the game if it features the dancing bear, who you may remember from Stronghold 1. Can Firefly confirm the bear at this stage? Sorry Andy, no bear in Stronghold next. You might have to wait for a future title in the series. We are looking at adding lots of those kind of like castle life, um, lots sort of cosmetic features to the game, whether they interact with gameplay systems or not. We sort of recognize that that kind of stuff's really important. It really yeah. kind of, plays into it feeling like a stronghold game, but um, the dancing bear specifically, not in Stronghold Next, but we'll try and bring it back for future titles. Sorry, Andy. Sorry. Next up we have Lord Sayright slash Denny. I want Stronghold on Nintendo consoles. The reason, Sir William for Smash. <laughs> Sir William for That'd Smash. That'd be great. That'd Sir be amazing. Willy for They've Smash. already got like 400 Fire Emblem characters in the game who are basically all just like clones of each other. Yeah. Um, I, so that'd be great. Um, you could have like, you could have Sir William as a character, you could have some assist trophies in there, like the Caliph could set fire to the stage, the pig could, like, you know, bang his war drum and make everyone like fly up in the air. The scribe, the scribe would be a great one. I don't know what he would do, but he could pop up in the corner of the screen and like mess with people's like popularity or something. The, they have people cheering like, um, like if you're doing yeah, well in Smash, yeah, yeah. Like, the, like a crowd will yeah, cheer you yeah, on. Yeah. So it I could mean, play into that somehow. I kind of feel like you just want to make a Stronghold Smash game now. Yeah, that would be amazing. Let's just go upstairs and do that right now. Upstairs, you've just got like a whole design doc. <laughs> Stop everything! Just waiting for your day to propose it. But again, online petition. Yeah. Make it they, they sort out everything. <laughs> Next up, we have Jan Nicholas Hamill with In which countries is the Stronghold series most popular? Ah, interesting question. Okay, so top five mm -hmm. right now, like mm -hmm. this year, would be uh, Germany, US, China, Russia, and Poland. Um, Germany and the US are like, you know, by far our biggest um, sort of fan bases, I would say. Where's the UK? UK is like- Where's the Brit boys? UK and France are probably like, sort of sixth and seventh spots, just outside the top five. The UK above France, right? Uh, no, uh. I'm not, ooh, no, it's a good question, actually. I think UK's, you just want me to say UK is above France. I think UK on the whole is above France, but for some games, France above UK. Because I fought in the 100 years of war, so, you know. <laughs> it's very got personal. a genuine historian with us. <laughs> um, side note about Stronghold Next, we will be supporting more languages than ever with that game. So stay tuned to find out what those are. But uh, yeah, we're going to be, don't, don't worry about that top five. Don't take that as, you know, your language won't be supported. We're going to be supporting yep. a whole bunch for Stronghold Next. So yep. yeah, we're hoping to grow new fan bases, you know, in other parts of the world, so. Next day we have Tim Martin. I have Anno 1800 and Stronghold Next coming up in 2019. Can someone finish high school for me? <laughs> Wait till you get a job. Then yeah. you're just gonna have no time. Get, you know, like he was saying the other day, get your RPGs out the way now, yep. because there are no more 300 hour epics once you're working nine to five. Yeah, all your Bethesdas, all your <laughs> uh, CD Projekt Reds, all your, whatever games. Other RPGs, you know, other you games. Your users. <laughs> um, <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much. Anno 1800, I'm pretty sure it's coming out in Feb next year, and yep. that's going to be you know, quite far from when we're releasing Stronghold next. So, yeah. so you're going to have plenty of time to play plenty both of those games. And yeah, Anno 1800, excellent choice, my friend. Next up, Blue Frog, can you make an ASCII castle builder and call it Stronghold? Text. 
Hey. <laughs> Love puns. Puns are great. Yeah. Expect lots of puns in Straw Next. That's what we're about. That's what we're about. Yeah. Good stuff. Well done on your pun. Congratulations. Thumbs up. Like it. Next up we have Ali Al Rudan. I've got it. Aliens are in the new setting. Ah, you got us. It's really a stronghold and space comedy crossover. I just really wanted to get Chromio to record another song for us, so I basically suggested that we should do a crossover yep. between the two franchises. Because for some reason Nick loves Chromio. It's so good. Check it out. Next we have Elk Jair. Maybe. Um, why not add all the best features to Stronghold next? Excellent suggestion. <laughs> We're actually not? doing that, right? We're paying a lot of attention to what we can add to the game, you know, in this version, what we can add to the game in sort of future titles in the series, and then basically doing everything we can within the sort of like, yep. you know, the confines of the technology at the moment. But um, obviously when it comes to creating a new entry in a series, um, for various reasons, like a feature might not be able to be brought across because yeah, the matter. art's out of date, old code doesn't work with the new code, yeah. doesn't make sense for a change of setting or an advancement in sort of, you know, like I don't know yeah. other games do, like they advance forward in time, they change setting, they do all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so there are loads of reasons why features don't just like come straight across new titles. Um, but yeah, we're doing as much as we can to bring the ones that we can bring into this yeah. game. That still makes sense with the setting, still makes sense in terms of balance and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. So yeah, we are doing that. And then if anything isn't in Stronghold next, you can probably rest assured that it'll be coming sort of to future games in the franchise. Next up we have Robertson News, my most trusted news outlet. Are you planning any features at gaming conventions? Next year, yes, absolutely. We've already mm. said that we're going to be doing Gamescom, which is Kind of a given. Confirmed. I think um, most of these conventions will be sort of like currently the plan for the second half of the year. Um, so take from that what you will. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing a bunch. Um, we're going to be going over to the US, UK, Germany, and maybe other countries as well. So Ooh. stay tuned. But yeah, second half of the year is kind of where our focus is going to be for that. Grand. And next up we have Mythos. Have you ever dressed in full plate armor and sparred against another guy? <laughs> well, I've dressed in full or, plate or because girl. Or you, girl. Yep. I mean, you made me dress in full plate for the for the mobile reveal of Strong Kingdoms. I asked you nicely, and I said yes. Said yes. <laughs> I mean, so I, we have done full plate. I haven't fought anyone in full plate, but I have yeah. walked around in full plate on concrete in London. And let yeah. me tell you, those pointy shoes are they Greaves? Does a Greave Greave, count as uh, the bottom I bit as well, or is it so. just is it just there? Yeah. Answer us in the comments below, but yeah, walking is quite hard on them, so I can't imagine how hard fighting or whatever yeah. must have been back in the day. Like knights must have been quite physically oh, yeah, fit, yeah, yeah, gents. For sure, for sure. I had the easy option of being the, uh, the I think we said it was a minstrel or a, oh, yeah, a no, minstrel. not a minstrel. Um, uh, With that hat that was yeah. like 300 times too tight for your head. And then, yeah, that cut <laughs> off my blood flow. And, you know. <laughs> Moving on, we have every. Can we expect Stronghold next to have much stronger buildings? So obviously we're going to have strong walls and the ability to double your wall health as an option. Yep. So you are going to be able to adjust it a little bit. But it's that balancing act between making walls strong enough that you feel like as a defender you're kind yeah. of protected and your castle walls are durable um, yep. and sort of balancing it so that the attacker doesn't just feel like they can never break it down. Um, but we're definitely looking at sort of improving durability just in general because that's been something that we've seen in a lot of user reviews, a lot of comments, and it's been sort of one of those things that came out when we looked at responses to Crusader 2. So I think you can expect, you know, as to address that issue and then to become slightly more durable, but the options will be in there for you if you want to adjust yep. that as well. Next up, DJ Corden. Will there be alpha or beta tests? As I've said before, we are definitely hoping to do a beta. Um, whether that comes in the form of like a public beta through Steam before launch mm -hmm. or inviting people through our mailing list mm -hmm. or just having some people just like come into the studio and like play test the game. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say just yet, but we're definitely looking at doing that. And of course, like we'll be at shows with the game. So if you're in the UK, US, Germany, you can come down, check it out. Um, yeah, and it's kind of a public beta, but I don't know whether we're going to be doing a full scale like public one yet. So yeah. I don't want to commit to it yet, but I'm, I'm definitely pushing for it. So. Hopefully. Yeah. And if you are interested in a beta, whether we do one or not later down the line, uh, make sure you sign up to our mailing list. Nice. Um, because that's yes. potentially one of the channels we'll be sending yeah. out through. And following that, we have Janko Uzalak. Will Show Next be dusty like Crusader or grassy like the other games? That's quite a good question, actually. That's I would a... say it's going to be like a midpoint. Like currently, all our test maps are 
um, more on the grassy side, like definitely more on the grassy side. But of course, like none of our final campaign maps or like skirmish maps even have been created yet or finalized yet. Um, so we can't really say just yet, but if I had to kind of, you know, take the long view and think about what the overall aesthetic is going to be, I would say kind of the midpoint between the two, but more on the grassy side, I would say. I feel we're by one, if you were to talk about percentages, like every video we do, like one more percent confirming the new setting. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's getting just get to 99 and then yeah. the reveal will be like, like 100. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone knew, but yeah. So start looking on your atlas for where all those grassy bits of land are. We'll do a summary at the end of all the teasers we've done throughout yeah, yeah, the whole yeah. video series. Next up we have N-I-J-G-H. Uh, will Strawhorn next be multicultured, like we say to one and two? Ah. Cheeky. Another cheeky one. Tricky Another question. Cheeky um, obviously we can't talk about the culture without you know, going into spoiler territory. Yeah. Um, I can say that like in Crusader you will have different buildings for recruiting different sort of troop types. Um, we love this because it allows us to introduce lots of variety in terms of the troops, in terms of the siege equipment etc. without having to veer into fantasy which we're not going to be doing for this one. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely more like kind of Crusader and Legends in that regard and yeah, stay tuned for when we finally reveal these these cultures one day one yeah. day <laughs> cool next up we have oxo tolk coxot maybe i don't know uh will the new mechanic remind us of black and white Classic. oh Classic. great game no unfortunately not oh. um no no <laughs> poor black and white what was cow was it like god cows and like tigers yeah, I, I played that game when I was no like massive beasts I must have been like at 12 or it was my first ever game on my own personal computer wow as in like I oh. just remember being not able to run it because it was like oh really so intense so, somehow probably I required it. like 12 megabytes of RAM which back in the day was like and I was rolling in it <laughs> <laughs> I was just like load it up <laughs> so no unfortunately no unfortunately not. sorry Next up, we have Gem. Will Stronghold next have a taunt system that makes AI more likely to attack? Ooh. Cool question. That's a nice idea. Um, we'll definitely add it to the wish list for future titles, but for Stronghold next, we're just going to have the regular taunt system where, play it, where the AI will kind of like tease you and taunt you and kind of give you an indication of where they're at defensively, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. Um, we're honestly still just working on the new central sort of core mechanic and making sure that's as kind of balanced and polished yeah. as possible. So we, do, we wouldn't want to add extra sort of things onto that yet, but you can definitely expect taunts in there. Definitely expect um, that kind of Firefly humor in that regard. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely put it on the wish list pile for future titles. Next up we have Joe H. Will there be different tower sizes like in Stronghold 2 and Legends? Yes, uh, we're looking at lots of different tower sizes and um, some different tower types as well, in addition mm -hmm. to some other kind of castle features that I won't talk about yet because they're kind of cool um, and we want to kind of save them for later on. But yes, we understand that that's kind of what sets Stronghold apart from Absolutely. other kind of RTS games because in another RTS when you build a base it's usually just it's pre -made and some walls that are yeah. just kind of barriers and that's just kind of like a perimeter for your for your buildings essentially yeah. whereas with Stronghold it's kind of you are building a castle that's kind it's of design. as important as yeah, the yeah, buildings you are, you are the designer yeah, yeah. yeah so um, yes you can expect multiple tower types uh, next up we have Wichter Kaluba will there be new touches to cavalry and cavalry unit types yeah we currently have three cavalry units planned. Um, mm -hmm. There'll be at least one sort of classical style in there, but we're definitely looking this time at making them a little bit more specialized. Um, so there should be a clear difference between sort of like heavy and light sort of cavalry units. Yeah. Just in the kind of, the weapon they're carrying, the armor they wear, the kind of overall aesthetic. Um, so hopefully make them a little bit more sort of like useful in specific scenarios and in sort of specific strategic, you know, uh, situations. Um, yeah, so we're kind of hoping to evolve on it a little bit with this game and kind of make cavalry sort of more of a thing that yeah. features into your kind of, your planning when you're mounting an attack. Next up we have A.U. Morjane. Are there new resources in the game like new crops and raw materials? Yes. Uh, yes. There will be new crops to sow, new materials to mine. Um, some of these will be kind of relatively straightforward substitutions. Uh, you may have to learn sort of new sort of production chains. Um, okay. So there will be sort of a slight learning curve there in terms of the economy. Uh, but yeah, there'll be new resources. Um, there will be other kind of values that affect your economy, um, which kind of play into our sort of desire to improve and sort of not overcomplicate, but evolve the kind of the sim side of the gameplay a little bit. Um, so there'll be other kind of values in there as well. But yes, you can expect new 
resources in the game. You Very might cool. have some classic ones in there, but yeah. you can expect new ones. That's very cool. Next up we have Crustadio. Will there be different factions to choose from similar to Stronghold Legends? No factions in the game. No, we're not going to be um, splitting up the game's 26 units and slash, slash these equipments into different factions because that would kind of be a little bit limiting for players. Um, mm -hmm. And we just prefer the kind of the fact that when you've got access to all the units in the game, you have more sort of options strategically. It doesn't feel limiting for players. It feels more sort of in tune with this kind of stronghold DNA as well. So um, yeah, we're going to be more like Crusaders. So there'll be a lot of variety in there um, in terms of your kind of unit types and sort of siege options. Um, but everyone's going to be able to access all of them. Um, in the main campaign, we may kind of limit it sort of depending on where you are, just to kind of slowly introduce new units and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. in skirmish multiplayer, you're just going to be able to access everything. Next up we have Anson. Will you be able to add AI to online multiplayer matches? Yes, yes you will. Um, cool. We know that kind of playing online against AI with one of your friends is sort of really important because it kind of helps the multiplayer community keep going as well. Like if you can only find one other person to play with, yeah. um, you know, if the game's been out for a little while, um, it just helps being able to play against AI and some people just like, you know, yeah. taking on like six AI lords with their mate kind of thing. Like, yeah, that's what I, do. I have fond memories of playing Commander Conquer Generals and steamrolling AI with my friend. Yeah. And like, you wait until they get like a nuke and you're like, oh, that's cute. And then you just crush them. Yeah. So that's definitely going to be in the game. Yeah. Not nukes. Not Adding nukes. AI to multiplayer is <laughs> yeah. going to be in the game. Yeah, I have, I'm, I'm terrible at PvP strategy games because I yeah. get too nervous, you know what I mean? Yeah. So especially in Stronghold, it's like when you're playing a 1v1. So you load into the game and you instantly start panicking. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I need my word. And, oh, how, how, he's doing it faster than me. Oh, no. I hate it. I hate it. So yes, yeah. AI might play. AI might play. That's the point. You got it. <laughs> Next up, we have Enter Prime NT. Can you add a political map for story mode like the very first Stronghold? Yes, actually. Um, new bit of information. We will be having maps back as sort of parts of the cosmetic single player campaign experience. We know that it's kind of, it's just a nice little visual, you know, it doesn't affect the gameplay, yep. but it's just a nice kind of visual touch and it kind of makes, it adds to the historical authenticity. Like, oh, you know, sure. a lot of people say, um, it kind of makes you feel like you're kind of actually following that campaign and oh, yeah. Well, yeah, moving through a, that country or whatever on your good, own. like visual aid yeah. to your progress. So yes, definitely for single player campaigns, we're certainly planning to do that. So yes, new. Feature confirmed. <laughs> Grand. Next up we have Air Roop. We have perhaps the most important question so far. Will there be harps? Ah, oh, no harps. Sorry. All you massive harp, harp fans. fans. <laughs> <laughs> you exist. No harps for Stronghold next, unfortunately. Um, we're going to be adding a bunch of new instruments for the new setting, obviously. So mm -hmm. um, harps wouldn't make a bunch of sense, I don't think. Um, but we are also looking at kind of evolving how the music is used in the game as well. So it's not just like a soundtrack on in the background, we're hoping yeah. to kind of make it a bit more reactive to what you yeah. do in the game and kind of experiment on that front. But um, yeah, we'll have a full soundtrack. We'll just kind of, yeah, hoping to make it a bit more sort of reactive to your gameplay and um, make a bit more sense in the kind of game. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, sorry, no harps. Lots of new instruments though, and we will 100% do a video on the on the music of Stronghold Next Absolutely. after we reveal it. Uh, again, I feel like we're getting another percentage towards reveal. <laughs> Nearly so, there. No harps. Everyone's going to go. I feel like we're going to be on like 43% by Christmas. Probably, yeah. I'd like say that's yeah, 100 cool. next year. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> Ajax Khan, how many bucks do I have to send you before you tell me the setting, Nick? Stop <laughs> sending him money. Is that like V-Bucks or actual money? Yes, V-Bucks, not real bucks. <laughs> V-Bucks. Don't send me V-Bucks. V-Bucks. Send him those V-Bucks. That'd be <laughs> hilarious. I can't be bought, unfortunately, but don't, don't send me any money, please. I appreciate it, but... Yeah. Not even V-Bucks? Uh, maybe V-Bucks. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Who is this guy? No V-Bucks? <laughs> Next up we have the Dark Balkan of Evil. Will there be a Bardish? Ooh. Um, no. I mean, it's difficult without... You'll, you'll see. You'll see. Sorry, I can't really say anymore. Cryptic. Sorry, Dark Balkan. You're going to have to untangle that one. <laughs> Next up we have Moolah. Could you make the campaign mode more complex and longer? We've actually done quite a lot of research into like average campaign lengths for other RTS games and Stronghold games and how it's changed over the years. And we're definitely looking at kind of, yeah, bumping up a little bit more mm -hmm. versus previous games in the series. Um, there'll be one single player campaign that um, kind of goes through multiple characters and will be a decent amount of time. Obviously we can't say until we've actually play tested it, how long yeah. it'll how long it'll be and how you know until after we design the missions or whatever but we're definitely looking at kind of similar to the first kind of two games in kind of like you know campaign length in terms of missions in terms of overall length and there's also another um 
addition we're hoping to make that I can't talk about yet, but um, yes, stay tuned for that. Next up we have Mr. Costinho. Do you have any plans to release a VR Stronghold? Strong Next will not be in VR, I can say that for sure. Um, mm -hmm. We've had like a few ideas related to Stronghold in VR and um, kind of like done some like draft design, but that's definitely an idea for like a future video, uh, but we're not planning anything like that at the moment. Yep. Um, but yeah, if it takes off, you know, we we would be there. Um, it's like we have to start our third online petition. <laughs> Get them going. You Get them going. Three petitions for one video. <laughs> Damn, we're influential. <laughs> So that was another instalment of our q and I want to thank you so much for watching. Also, Nick, for allowing me to come down and ask you all these questions. Very welcome. I had a lot of fun. Um, if for some reason you have just randomly jumped in on this part of the Q&A, uh, you'll want to go back and watch part one, two, three, and four. That's right, we've got four entire parts covering characters, setting, siege equipment, um, and all the niche little details that you guys have been asking us about on YouTube. Um, as for future Stronghold Next updates, we do actually have a production update plan next week at, on Thursday at 3 p.m. GMT. That will cover design, production, art, and programming, and give you a much bigger like overview of where the whole production is at and where the development of the game is at at this stage. Um, but until then, I want to thank you so much for watching again. Thank you, Nick. Have a lot of fun again. And to finish, as always, if you did like the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe here on YouTube for more Firefly Studios goodness every single week. See you next week. Bye.